Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's Lindsay and I'm here with a jewelry haul. I do have some items I bought on Whatnot and I also have a Shop Goodwill J. Crew lot. So I can't wait to get that open and share with you guys the items. I will be offering everything for sale. So if you do see anything that you would like to purchase, just please send me an email and please include your mailing address if you've never bought from me before. I will be doing the number system again um, that I tried last week. So if you just give me the number and a brief description in your email, that will work. And um, the prices do not include shipping. I do do calculated shipping through Pirate Ship. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, before we do, if you are new to my channel, my name's Lindsay and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, The Real Real, and here on YouTube. I normally post videos Mondays and Thursdays, so I would love to have you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit the bell notification because I do drop bonus uploads like this one. So this is gonna be airing and tomorrow I am going to be back with a Goodwill Blue Box. So if there is anything from today's video that you would like to purchase, I will combine shipping with it um, for anything tomorrow and then ship out at the end of the week. So let's go ahead and get started. I believe the items from Whatnot are on the top. Um, so we'll go through those first. Um, first up, I have this gorgeous little pendant. It is silver tone. It is marked 925, but this is magnetic. So it's just silver tone, but it's still absolutely stunning. It's a little sandal. It even has a little wedge heel and then some beautiful black rhinestones on the footbed. And there is the bale. Um, really looks to be in brand new condition. Um, it is on the smaller side, but still really sparkly and fun. So um, this one will do $3 and that is number 98. So $3.98 for the sandal pendant. Next, I have this um, really cute cat pin. It is um, just plastic, yellow, and then there is a clear rhinestone eye. A little scary cat pose, and it is in good condition. Um, a little discoloration on the glue, but everything's working with the pin. Um, but he's cute. Uh, we'll do $3 on him, and that is number 97. So super cute little kitty. And um, next up I have this, I don't know if this is um, like a plastic, it is really um, like a hard plastic, um, carved, super cool um, brooch with the rhinestone centers on the petals. A lot of detail on this, it's like a jade color. So I still need to do some research on this one so I will put some uh, pricing on the screen but I don't see a maker's mark on it. Um, but it's in great condition, really cool. So um, that will be number 96, and I will put a price on the screen. Next up, I have a holiday brooch, and this is a fireplace and mantle, and you can see Santa's boots coming down, and it is articulated. There are red and green rhinestones, um, and then the articulated stockings on it. And this one is not signed, um, but super cool. There is the pin. And that is functioning well. Um, really good condition. Um, we will do $4 on that one, and that is number 95. Next up, I have a bracelet. Um, this is Monet. It is gold tone, and then there are these black cabochons. Really nice condition. It does have a fold over clasp. And there's the inside um, marked Monet. So really good condition. Let me get a measurement on this one. Got to bring out my measuring tape, but I do have the bracelet mandrel here. Um, <clears throat> so that one's coming in about six and three quarter. So um, a really nice bracelet. Um, we will do six dollars on that, uh, the Monet, and that is um, number ninety four. Uh, 
Next up, I do have some vintage new old stock rings. I do have multiples of these. Um, I have size five and size six. And these are 14 karat gold electroplated. Um, they do have kind of an etched style band, really gorgeous. And they do have clear rhinestones and a tiger's eye um, little stone there. So really pretty. They are on the thicker side of the band. So let me get a measurement on this. So the size five is coming in um, just above the five. So really stunning. So again, I have size five and size six and these will be $5. So $5 for the vintage new old stock ring. That is number 93 and you can just let me know what size you would like and how many. I have probably three of each. So I thought those were really pretty um, with the really nice um, gold plating. So 93 on that one. Next up, I have another brooch. This is actually Sarah Coventry and it's an owl. He's got beautiful green eyes. There's the back and there's your Sarah Coventry there. This is vintage. And you do have your working pin. And he is in really good condition. The um, rhinestones on this one do glow. Let me see if I can grab my black light here. And I'm gonna turn off the ring light. So really cool brooch. So we are gonna do $8 on him, the Glowing Owl Sarah Coventry, and he is number 92. Next up, I have another brooch, and um, this one just needs a little bit of a wipe down, but it's a gorgeous blue enamel with a cream, cream center, and it is on gold tone metal. And I don't see any maker on that one. The pin works well. Um, so we will do $4 on that one, the flower, and that will be number 91. Next up, I have a little dragonfly brooch with articulated wings, beautiful clear rhinestones along the stinger, and then a red rhinestone eyes and black enamel on the wings. This one is not marked. Really nice condition. Pin is working well. So just really a stunning piece. Um, this is gonna be number 90 and um, he will be $5. Really cute. Next up, I have a necklace. This is vintage, just plastic beads, black, and then they are rimmed in the gold tone on some of them. It is graduated. And this one is a Trafari necklace. And there is um, this here. I don't know if it is brand new, but that is only tag present. There is just some loose string there that needs to be trimmed, but it's not part of the necklace. So everything looks beautiful with this one. Um, we will do $8 on that. And if you need a measurement, let me know. I just don't have my measuring tape here, um, but it is in great condition. So that will be number 89 for $8. Next up, I have this Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy brooch, and it is brand new in the package. Um, it's kind of like the Boyd's Bear kind of style brooch. And um, I don't know exactly what material that is, um, if it's maybe like a painted ceramic, um, something like that but um, really cute and in brand new condition, giftable. Um, this is by Blossom Bucket. So on this one, um, we will do $4.
and that will be number 88. 88 for four dollars. And my, I think I have two more items here from the Whatnot haul, and then we'll go into the J. Crew. Um, next up, I have these enamel seahorse earrings. Super cute. I believe these were Forever 21. They're not marked, but they definitely give a Betsy Johnson vibe. Super cool. Um, so on these, we will do uh, number 87, and they will be $4 for the seahorse earrings. Really fun, they're not super heavy, um, but they're just really blingy and fun. So $87, $4. All right, next is my Shop Goodwill lot. You guys know I love the J. Crew, so I had to pick this up. Uh, the first item are these stunning wreath earrings in um, beautiful rhinestones. There's silver and like a gray and a gold color. Brand new post back, gold tone metal. Brand new on the card, no original price listed on these. Um, we will do $12 on these. Really beautiful wreath earrings. These will be number 85 definitely in giftable condition. Next up we have this flower necklace and it is beautiful. These are plastic iridescent um, petals with clear rhinestones on the center. Really great condition on there. It does have the lobster clasp with an extender. There is your J. Crew. The metal looks great on this one. There's the back, really great condition. There's a little piece of tape there. Um, but otherwise, the metal and everything looks really good. Not too much scratching at all. Um, on this one, we'll do $20. Absolutely stunning. And that will be number 84. Next up, I have another pair of J. Crew earrings. These are kind of like a champagne color with three rhinestones and they are post back. No um, original price on that one. I will put matching backers on this one that is missing the plastic part, um, but they are brand new. Um, we'll do $10 on these and that will be number 83. Next up, I have one of these plastic um, flower earrings or flower necklaces. I have had these in a variety of colors. This is a beautiful pink, absolutely stunning, um, clear rhinestones. And um, it is like a 3D flower. This one does show wear on the chain. Definitely some discoloration along the chain but overall not too bad. And the back looks really good. Um, so on this one, um, because of the wear, let's do $12 on that beauty. And I do have this in one more color, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. That'll be number 82 for 12. This is the second one, it's very similar. I don't know if it is the same. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, so I'm just gonna say that I have two of them, but this will be the second one. So I'll just show the condition on this. This will be $12 as well. I'm just gonna back up just a little bit. Um, so really, really nice on the rhinestones and flowers. This one has um, maybe just a little bit more scratching on the back, but overall still really good. Um, and the chain on this one is probably in a little bit better condition um, but uh, you just show some light wear. There is a little bit more wear on the clasp, but the overall chain looks pretty good. And this, so th this one shows more wear on the chain. This one shows more wear on the back of the flowers, but both of them are still in very nice wearable condition. So the first one will be number 82. 
and the second one will be number 81. So I'll keep them separate, but I do have both of those. Um, so that is $12 each. So I wanted to show that one again. I tried to list the it on Poshmark, but I was having a hard time photographing it to get the color to show up true to color. So that's what, kind of why I haven't listed it yet. All right, and next up I have another tortoiseshell necklace. Um, this one's really simple, um, just some tortoiseshell links. And then the gold tone chain is in very good condition. There is your J. Crew. Really nice, um, very simple and lightweight. Um, we'll do $10 on that one. And that is number 80. Very nice um, for going into fall. Next up, I have a gorgeous multi-strand faux pearl necklace, and that has the huge Senorita clasp on it. And there's your J. Crew, and I think this one is probably in new condition. It still has a little string on it, um, but really, really pretty um, faux pearls. They're kind of a cream color. So on this one, um, let's do 15 on the faux pearls. Really nice condition on that. That will be number 79. Next up, I have a rhinestone statement necklace. And this is um, really pretty in like a mint green and kind of like a moss green color with clear rhinestones and a gray. The clear rhinestones are just absolutely stunning on there. Really nice condition on the stones. And there's the back. Very nice condition. And really nice chain on this one as well. The metal looks really good. And there's your hang tag. Um, so on this one, we'll do $12. And that will be number 78. Next up, I have this stunner, just absolutely gorgeous um, neon yellow. And then there's also some opalescent on there. So pretty. And the chain on this one also looks really good. Gold tone. There's your J. Crew. And the back of the necklace um, looks really good too. Just um, really gently used on this one. So this one, we will do 15. Really special one. That will be number 77 for 15. Next up, this one's really cool. It's like a black enamel. And then there's a mint green and I don't know, kind of like a yellow color and then clear rhinestones. And this one um, does have a little bit of weight to it with the enamel, absolutely gorgeous. This one does show discoloration on the chain. You are seeing some of the silver tone coming through, especially over here. So this one might be a little bit of an older piece. There's the J. Crew, but the necklace is absolutely stunning. So really cool. Um, we will do $12 on this one just because it shows a little bit more wear, but definitely stunning. And that will be number 76. And our last item from this lot is a necklace. And this one is not J. Crew. This is actually Leah Sophia. And I did look this one up. I can't remember the name of the style, but I think it's I'm kind of a well-known style and maybe came in a few different colors, but it does have these bright red, kind of cherry red cabochons and then clear rhinestones. And everything is present on it. The stones and everything look like they're in really good shape. There is the gold tone chain. And really the metal is in pretty good condition as well. 
Um, this is actually um, Stella and Dot, I meant to say, not Leah Sophia. So Stella and Dot. There's the back. So really just gently used. On this one, we're going to do $10, and this will be number 75. So that is it from the J. Crew lot. Let me know what you thought about these two lots. I may add some more pieces into this video, depending if I get any mail between now and when it airs. I am expecting a sterling silver ring lot that I got from um, shopgoodwill.com, and I also have some more whatnot jewelry coming. So if I get that in time, I will add it in. If not, I'll end it here. And I will see you back tomorrow with my Goodwill Blue Box. Have a great night.